Be it the cult classic James Bond or the childhood fever dream Spy Kids, we've all grown up watching and being fascinated by spy movies. And although Hollywood is guilty of glamorizing espionage, you might be surprised at how many features in the supposedly made-up spy movies are actually true. Intrigued? Today, we're talking about 10 of the coolest spy gadgets in the history of the profession. Spoiler alert, Spy Kids wasn't that far off. First off, we have the poison-tipped umbrella. When talking about advanced espionage, organizations like the KGB and MI6 are probably the most notorious, and our first mention on this list comes courtesy of none other than the Soviet spies. We think the name's pretty self-explanatory. This inconspicuous umbrella was designed with a deadly twist. Its tip was filled with ricin, a slow-acting and almost untraceable poisonous substance. Nowadays, ricin is pretty easily identifiable, but during the 70s, when this contraption was first used, that wasn't the case. In 1978, the Soviets used their ingenious gadget to assassinate Georgi Markov, a Bulgarian author in London. This was done by shooting the tiny pellet of ricin from the umbrella straight into Markov's leg. And though later investigations suspected such an occurrence, the culprit was never found. And that there, ladies and gentlemen, was a spy who was good at his job. Number two on our list is a bug in the shape of a bug. Now, in the normal world, a bug is an insect, right? But in the world of espionage, a bug is a miniature microphone concealed in space to record someone's conversation secretly. We're sure you knew both of those things. Well, guess what? So did the CIA. This time, it was the American intelligence that invented the Insectothopter, a remote-controlled recording device designed in the shape of a dragonfly. Premiering in 1974, this artificial dragonfly had a miniature microphone installed inside its head and a tiny engine in its body. This gas engine didn't prove to be very efficient, though. It can only be powered for around 60 seconds and only across a distance of 650 feet. Feet. Other than that, it couldn't even withstand the mildest of winds. Unfortunately, the gadget wasn't deployed in the 70s, but it was a pioneer for aerial intelligence gathering tech to come in the future. Next up, is it a coat button or is it a camera? Did you ever think one day you'd be asked if your coat button was a camera? Us neither, but when you're knee deep in the middle of a spy mission, anything and everything can come in handy, including your coat button. Being one of the most widely used espionage devices, no one nation's agency can be credited with its invention. These miniature cameras weren't actually the buttons of the agents, but rather they were small enough to be concealed within them. The shutter of the camera was controlled by a switch that was cleverly hidden inside the coat's pocket, although this varied from agency to agency. Sometimes the CIA concealed these cameras in other articles of clothing as well, including but not limited to necklaces, brooches, and sunglasses. Feeling an itch to rewatch the Mission Impossible series just yet? You definitely will by the end. Coming in at number 4 as Exploding Stationary. As they say, desperate times, desperate measures. It was during World War II that the U.S. Office of Strategic Services commissioned this explosive device and issued it to their agents. Either disguised as a box of pencils or as an everyday canteen for carrying water, it was an incendiary bomb hidden in plain sight. It could be detonated by pulling the pin connected to the cap of the canteen by a wire or other mechanisms for the pencil case. Pretty resourceful, we have to say, although we imagine it must have been hard for spies undercover to explain why they were randomly carrying around pencil cases. Let's talk about untraceable letter openers now. Arguably the most important and most underrated aspect of the intelligence profession is relaying messages. After all, what good is all your work as a spy if it doesn't reach your respective agency? During World War II, messages were, of course, passed on via handwritten letters. If an enemy got hold of your classified correspondence, it was game over for you. But agents designed a clever contraption to open confidential letters, read their contents and not even let anyone catch wind that any such meddling had occurred. How did it work? It was quite simple, really. A thin metal bar was used to slide through the tiny opening at the top of an envelope fold, and the actual letter itself would then be grabbed with attached pincers. Then, the device was rotated slightly to basically coil the letter around the metal bar. After that, it was easy peasy. Just slip the letter wrapped bar out of the envelope, scan its contents thoroughly, maybe even copy them if they seem significant enough, and then insert the letter back into the envelope. This way, the letter, the envelope, and any seals remained intact, and it was almost impossible for the actual recipients to tell that their letter had been intercepted on its way. Now, if only this device was mass produced, so we could have used it in our school days to leak test papers before their date. For number six, we've got war pigeons. If you're imagining a pigeon clad in a tiny war helmet and a shield and sword held in either wing, you're welcome for that image. Unfortunately, humans can't really make pigeons do their 
their bidding. What they did manage to train pigeons for was the much easier task of flying over the battlefield and then returning. But how would a pigeon flying above targets help spies in any way? Well, they had miniature cameras attached to them, of course. During both World War I and World War II, various agencies used to strap tiny automatic cameras onto pigeons' breasts and help them fly over specific locations to gain intel. The cameras could capture more than 100 photos, and the pigeons had the advantage of being fairly inconspicuous at lower altitudes. Think of it like glorified drones. These were useful for mapping out battlefields way beforehand and finding out the locations of enemy safe houses and the likes. Just three more to go, folks. Number seven comes straight out of all of your beloved spy flicks. Any guesses? Ever seen an unassuming pretty woman at a bar digging in her purse for her lipstick only to take it out and boom, it's a weapon. Guess what? That's not just a myth of fiction. Female spies all over the world have made use of the seemingly harmless cosmetic product to hide far more sinister objects. Just like microphones and cameras, spies had to find a way to conceal guns and bullets into everyday objects as well. And what better instrument to choose the most common essential present in every woman's purse? A lipstick. These disguised firearms were used by KGB agents throughout the Cold War, and one instance stands out. In 1965, the Americans arrested an individual in Berlin for suspicious activity. Later, they discovered a 4.5mm pistol capable of firing a single 0.177 caliber round inside a lipstick case in her belongings. This fascinating invention got nicknamed the Kiss of Death and is now displayed in the International Spy Museum in Washington, D.C. Moving on to suitcase transceivers. When this inventive device was first developed in 1978, both the SAS and MI6 were quick to adopt its technology. It was named the MK-123 and it was capable of sending and receiving messages all around the world. Now, in the age of mobile phones, you might not consider it that impressive, but back in the 1970s, it was a huge deal. In November of 1978, Iranian protesters attacked the British embassy in Tehran, setting fire to the building. Under such circumstances, the MK-123 was able to relay news of the attack to the British authorities when all other channels of communication had been broken down. This highly useful machine remained in use by Britain up until the 1980s when better technology replaced it. Number 9 brings us the glove gun. We don't think there's any confusion as to what exactly this contraption was. A miniature firearm concealed inside a nondescript winter glove obviously proved to be an especially useful little gadget during the Cold War. Although the US Navy first came up with the design, the Russian KGB were quick to copy it and make their own version. A glove was specifically chosen because it wouldn't be considered out of the ordinary, hence allowing the agents to get close to their enemies and then pull the hidden trigger. This device was really the pinnacle of espionage, what with the keep your friends close and your enemies closer connotations. Lastly, we present the hollow coin, simple but effective. These minute objects were originally designed to aid prisoners of war during World War II, but their efficiency led them to being adopted by several intelligence agencies. This one wasn't a technological wonder, but a mechanical one. Two hollow false coin halves were joined together to form a normal looking currency coin, but it was what lay within that came in handy. Everything from small, nifty blades to crumpled up messages could be fit into the space between the halves, and its almost undetectable nature made them excellent spying assists. These coins could even be accessed when the owner's hands were bound, unlocking the potential of escape for unfortunate spies who used to get caught. We'd love to have a pair or two of those. That's a wrap for this video. Those were all the cool espionage gadgets we thought to share with you today. Which one was straight out of your spy movie obsessed childhood? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.